Greetings. Hope this finds you well. So probably a number of you, if not most of you, have seen that clip of Bernie Sanders saying he does not, does not support a ceasefire between Israel and the Palestinians as over this point it's 10,000 people in Gaza have been killed in a little over, or I guess a month at this point, by Israel's indiscriminate carpet bombing of schools, hospitals, residential buildings, targeting people fleeing, targeting ambulances, targeting journalists, targeting their families, and around 40-42% of those killed have been children. Over 4,000 children killed in Gaza in the past month. But supporting a ceasefire, that's that's too much for for St. Bernie because, well, that evil evil Hamas, how could we give in to them? And, you know, Israel needs to keep killing all these babies and children. And that's basically logic. If you don't support a ceasefire, why are you condemning what Israel is doing with these carpet bombings of all this civilian infrastructure and the civilian population? If you don't support a ceasefire, that is what you support. Bernie Sanders, you moral monster, as Norman Finkelstein correctly described you as. Bernie, 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 Bernie's foreign policy has always been quite suspect, honestly. He supported the war and the regime change in Libya, overthrow the uh, Gaddafi government there, and we still have, you know, chaos and despair in that country prior they had a very the highest standards of living on the continent of africa he also supported the war and regime change efforts in syria and now he's completely on the wrong side of history on this issue as well so i'm just disappointed in myself frankly that i didn't see it sooner and that i volunteered time campaigning for him so back in 2016 or maybe 2020 and that I gave some money to him it's just moral monster as let's check out this I recommend the, watching the whole video Finkelstein uh, break, breaking down Bernie's moral monster response here but I'm just going to show part of it because it's 40 minutes long so here's Bernie on CNN senator if I might you support a humanitarian pause in Gaza. Some of your fellow progressives say that there should be a full-on ceasefire, which would require... This guy's such a fucking hack, dude. Such a fucking hack. You're not a progressive if you support genocide, ethnic cleansing, which you do by not supporting a ceasefire because the genocide and ethnic cleansing will continue to happen, you absolute moral monsters, Finkelstein correctly described you guys an agreement on both sides to halt the fighting do you support a ceasefire and if not why not well i don't know how you can have a ceasefire permanent ceasefire with an organization like hamas which is dedicated to turmoil and chaos and destroying oh see how he comes with that heat towards hamas who is really dedicated to turmoil and destruction? Look at what Israel is doing right now to the people in Gaza and the other occupied territories. And again, this didn't start on October 7th. The violent repression, dispossession, murder, ethnic cleansing of Palestinians has been going on since 1948, 75 or so years ago. God damn fucking, you know, it's a bad take. APAC literally shared this fucking clip of Bernie fucking Sanders spouting off this genocidal fucking rhetoric. Fuck this guy. What a piece of shit. The state of Israel. And I think what the Arab countries in the region understand that Hamas has. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't see any Arab countries condemning the resistance efforts of Hamas and these other factions. You do see some of them calling out Israel's genocidal campaign against the Palestinians in Gaza, though. Fuck that guy.
piece of fucking shit. Got to go. So and he lays out how Norman does how <laughs> his eyes are closed there. How in fact Hamas was democratically elected back in 2006 during elections that were pushed and Hamas surprisingly but overwhelmingly won those elections and what Jimmy Carter described as fair and honest elections back in 2006 and then since Israel and the West didn't like who they elected they've been under blockade and siege since then with you know these bombing campaigns um you know targeting them at different points so definitely really worth checking out and norman also um in this parts we're not going to show lays out how there have been ceasefires in the past and who has violated them israel who did it on november 4th election day 2004 Israel, because it was election day here in the U.S., all the cameras would be focused on that, and that's when Israel decided to start start bombing people in Gaza again. That's not even a conceivable concept. But destroying Hamas because they're evil, they're evil incarnate. They're so evil that they negotiate again if you actually look at the material conditions it's very easy to see who the evil ones are my cat just knocked that over the evil ones are in this situation it's very easy to see who the oppressor is and who the oppressed are if you actually use a rational concrete analysis it's very fucking easy to see Eight ceasefires. They stand by ceasefires. He's talking about Hamas. They attempt to restore the devastated economy in Gaza. That's pristine, distilled evil. Evil incarnate. Obviously, being sarcastic. Eight. And then comes October seventh. I've spoken about it at length to the point of tedium so i'm not going to repeat myself in this response to you bernie but i have to say with all due respect the things you've been saying since october 7th you're positively ill no, I know. I agree. Just that clip alone and all the other fucking nonsense. You're thinking, well, I've heard some of the things you said. And I think they're ill. Fair enough. <laughs> However, we can disagree on that. And we can disagree uh, forcefully on that. But when you say you oppose a ceasefire you're a moral monster you cross the lead lo a red line i agree you become a moral monster 100 percent. i'm going to say that again you become a moral monster i read yesterday your tweet now you'll forgive me for not getting it verbatim correctly, but you said, not me, you said in that tweet yesterday, Israel is indiscriminately bombing hospitals, bombing schools, killing civilians. You said that. And I'll ask the people who are recording. Yeah. So if you're against that, if you're truly against that happening, how is that going to stop unless Israel is pressured for a ceasefire, which Hamas and the other resistance groups would honor 
and follow through with as they have in the past. It's always been Israel who's broken them. What do you think Israel is just going to change their tactics that they're going to put boots on the ground and, you know, go after the Al Qassam brigades and the tunnels? Of course not. They're the IDF. Their whole strategy is based on cowardice and, and death from above and death by remote control. And so all they have left is to commit these heinous atrocities because they're a bunch of cowards. And as a result, they're bombing hospitals, ambulances, schools, refugee camps, etc. This video to post right as I recite these remarks, which I acknowledge are a paraphrase of what you said yesterday. Now, when you give, when you oppose, I should say, when you oppose a ceasefire at this point, you are in effect. Yes. And in fact, you are in effect. And in fact. And in fact, giving Israel carte blanche to continue to indiscriminately Preach. target the civilian infrastructure the population and the civilian population of Gaza, one million of whom, or one million one hundred thousand of whom are children. You have become a moral, a moral Monster, Monster Bernie Sanders. You piece and of don't God. say, of course, I oppose that. You can't if you don't support a ceasefire, as Norman is correctly pointing of out. Of course you oppose that. And do you think Israel will stop <laughs> right? doing that because Bernie Sanders tells them to? <laughs> you think all of a sudden now they're going to cease targeting hospitals with the plural mm -hmm. hospitals multiple and multiple times you think they're going to cease targeting ambulances refugees you think they're going to cease targeting civilian dwellings 42 or more percent of the housing, the homes. 42%. Of these people, 70% of whom and their descendants Refugees. already lost their homes in 1948. Nakba. And now lost them again. The 50% who are children 50%. no longer have a roof over their head. The little toys that they had, the family pictures that they kept, everything now in rubble. And buried beneath the rubble, there are still thousands of children. And you just gave green the light. green oh. light for the more atrocities to continue the destruction of Gaza. Twas a people midst the crashing fires of hell. And now tis a people amidst the crashing of fires of hell with the stamp of approval from Bernie. From Bernie Sanders. Yeah, absolute fucking. What a good. pitiful shame. Pitiful shame indeed. Thank you. There we go. Nice clarity there from Dr. Norman Finkelstein. And so here to show this. So here's Bernie, November 4th. Uh, in modern history but you, and yet you don't support a ceasefire and so it's going to keep 
going on, you fucking moral monster? Uh, Hamas attacked Israel in a barbaric way, killed hundreds and hundreds of men, women, and children. Israel has a right to defend itself. I don't think anyone disagrees with that. But yeah, <laughs> no. I don't know how bombing hospitals, schools, refugee camps, targeting ambulances, journalists, their families, cutting off food, water, electricity, internet. That's defending yourselves. But what they are doing now in an indiscriminate way, a bombing refugee camps, bombing ambulances. But that's going to keep continuing. You don't support a ceasefire, you moral monster. Killing thousands of innocent men, women, and children in violation of international law is simply not acceptable. It has got to stop. But you support it by not supporting a ceasefire. And you know, it is no great secret that the United States provides $3.8 billion every year. Congress and the president want to give them $14 billion more. Yeah, uh, to Israel. Now they can say they don't want the money. Fine. But if they're going to take our money and Biden wants to give them even more. I'm not going to say they don't. I'm not going to take it. They have got to recognize that they cannot offend American values, what we stand for, what civilized world stands for. Civilized world. There's a crock of shit referring to the United States or Israel as a civilized world. And people are calling him out. Still, you can't say the word ceasefire now, extraordinary. Say the word ceasefire, you piece of shit. Go piss and sleep, Grandpa. Candace Owens is more humane position than yours. You should be ashamed of yourself with this blood on your hand. Jesus Christ. Oh, most of the people calling him out in the comments. Uh, Bernie, Bernie Sanders, again, he's always been better on domestic issues than foreign policy. Um, but Jesus fucking Christ, he can't even support a ceasefire as Israel continues their genocidal campaign against the Palestinians in Gaza. Free Palestine. River to the sea, Palestine will be free.